And welcome back. And we are talking about a topic now. Uh, it's kind of interesting. You know, my wife has been thinking about doing it, but we're not quite seniors. Uh, at moving forward, I think they kind of focus on the senior side of downsizing with ease a little bit more as we bring in Marianne for moving forward. Welcome on in. Hi, thank you. Yeah, thanks for thanks having for me. Thanks for joining us. Um, Talking about seniors, what exactly is a senior move manager? Sure. Um, but I have to say, so even though we do focus on seniors, no problem. We work with people who are not seniors. Is that right? So I'll just, okay. Yeah, All right. My wife will be happy to yes, know that. Yes, you can let her know when you get home. <laughs> there you go, so No Basha. worries. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so a senior move manager is somebody who's been trained through the National Association of Senior Move Managers. And it's a company there. It's, um, the NASM is located in, in, in Illinois, and there's about a thousand, you know, senior move managers around the country. So it's it's very important that I'm part of that organization because it's very ethical. We're in people's private um, spaces in their homes, helping them. So that training is really important. So people who use the term senior move manager, um, you can be assured that they've been, you know, trained through this organization. Okay. Now, what are some of the steps? I guess you know, you start off at, at point A to get all the way to to point B, what are some of the steps you go through with families? Sure, so basically we always come and we have an initial meeting you know, with our client and we see what their needs are because every family is very different. Um, and basically we tell them we go room by room with the client and we go through, we sort through years of belonging. So we bring up the boxes from the basement, take things from the attic and physically one-on-one -on -one go through items um, if they need us to do that and decide what to keep, what to sell, you know, what to donate. Um, and then we, we pack up what they want to bring to their new, their new home. And usually, you know, they're going from a home they've been in, you know, 50 years to a, you know, maybe like a 600 square foot apartment. So it's a huge downsize. So we, we also go through, we measure the furniture so that, you know, we know what's, what will fit comfortably in their new home. And then we help pack them, move them, get them settled in. We, you know, hang up the pictures, hang up the shower curtain, make the beds, make sure they're comfortable in their new home. And then we go back to their old home and get it ready to sell. So we you know, we finish do, you know selling all the items, um, getting the home ready for the realtor then to come in and. I would and think sell. that that could be such a difficult process. Now, not for my wife; she'll throw anything out. But I have like sentimental attachment to everything. Sure. It, it, is that hard for people sometimes to downsize it and is. give that up? It's very tricky. And again, people associate items with memories, and that's always the hardest part to get through. So we just have you know we talk through it a lot, and we really try to go through those steps and and, and have people realize that. It's just it's just an item, so you have right. to your memories. <laughs> but um, try to let let some things go if you can. So now, who ends up finding you then? Normally, is it usually usually a senior? Is it their families? Yeah, typically it's not the senior. It would be um, you know their family members, their kids, especially if the kids are living out of state. You know they realize there's all this work to do, and they just can't physically get there to help their parents. So lots of times, one of the the kids will reach out to us. Um, we do re um, get referrals from a lot of real estate agents because you know they have homes that you know somebody wants to move, but there's just so much stuff in the house they can't put it on the market. So realtor, and then um, independent communities. Um, people know that they want to move into an independent community, so they can give up, you know, shoveling snow and cleaning. But they look around their house, and they don't even know like where to begin. So they'll go to the independent community and take a tour, and then we kind of help bridge that gap, so then they can move into their new apartment. So we'll get a lot of calls from the marketing folks at the, you know, the communities. I've given up shoveling snow, but it's my 15-year-old son who does it. So. <laughs> that works, too. That works. <laughs> so now, like, well, what does a typical client look like that sure. seeks you out? So it's really interesting because when I first meet a client, I mean, you can just feel the tension and the stress. It's a very, very stressful situation. And they just, again, you walk into the room and you can just, they just, they've been dealing with this typically for months or years, like sorting through their own things. You know, the family member's been coming over on weekends. They just, they've been trying for a long time. So when I first meet them, they're really stressed. And then as we kind of talk and, you know, I come in like, no problem, we can have this done in two weeks. That kind of eases them. And so, but um, that kind of takes away the stress. It seems like this could be pretty rewarding. What do you think is the best part of your business? Yeah, I, the best part is actually like once we're finished with a client and they, they say something like, oh my God, we cannot have imagined doing this without you. You just, you just helped us get to where we wanted to be so we can enjoy life instead of just rummaging through boxes every single day. So I really like the closing of the whole situation and getting them to their new spot. And then once the house sells, that's just a, a bonus too. Now so. for everybody watching at home then, what are some suggestions that you might have as far as downsizing? Sure, and you know, um, it's interesting that you started off with your, your first point because my, my suggestion would be that it's never too soon to start. So as soon as you look around your house and you see items that you haven't used in a while, just in the back of your mind, just know somebody can be using those items. So whether it's clothes, furniture, anything, if you're not using it, just look at the, the, the positives and just start downsizing at any time. Because I think um, what I find is people approach me once they're in a crunch, you know, really like a crunch situation. And it's much easier if you just kind of keep, you know, keep up with things as you go along. The show hoarders so. would be canceled if we all did that. <laughs> so our thanks to Marianne for thank joining us, for us. And thank you for watching Talk of the Town right here on CW57. We'll see you next time.